Hi, today for you I have a greenhouse tour. I've recently taken up gardening and I'm also developing a cut flower garden and I will have a video of that coming up very, very soon. But today it's the greenhouse tour. My name is Audrey Williams of Audrey Williams Flowers to Interiors. I'm a floral as well as an interior designer and welcome to my YouTube channel. greenhouse from outside and you'll see that it's on concrete slabs and those I got a reclamation yard and my husband laid the slabs the greenhouse is six foot wide by eight foot long and it was originally silver and I painted it black and it's coming up way in places so I do need to touch it up and I got it off Facebook marketplace and um, I went there with my son and we basically just um, took it down and then brought it here and rebuilt it and we've lost quite we lost a bit of glass so I had to get some new glass put in so I sprayed it and then put the, the glass in so that's where we are so if I take you on the outside of the greenhouse at first I've got some garden chairs which I got at Facebook marketplace as well so there's one here and one here and I'm currently in the process of putting a water butt system to um, catch water as well because I'm aware that rainwater is much nicer for plants. As I said, I'm just learning about this, so um, I'm picking up tips and hints as I go along. And this metal chair um, bench, I actually got years ago on a trip to um, France um, with some friends and of mine and I literally brought it back on my lap on the ferry and I've got it till today and I absolutely love it. I've got some galvanized pots outside and they've both got um, diff two different types of ivy. Because as a floral designer you use ivy quite a lot so I made sure I had that. And um, as I said, it's on those concrete slabs. Because I've just started gardening and everything, I didn't really want to sort of, I just wanted to kind of start off small and then see how I got on. On the outside, the concrete slabs don't come out as far. So I've just been clearing all of here of weeds and put cardboard down for now on an old fence. So what we're going to do is put concrete here and then there'll be like a deck as you go inside. So let's go inside now. So it's a sliding door and if I just pan you round really quickly you can see what I've got in here so far so we're going to start on the left hand side and on this side I've got um, a galvanized pot I really like geraniums so I've started off with them I do need to deadhead some of these and um, that that's a metal pot and it's got holes built at the bottom and it's also got a shelf um, for the greenhouse which I spray back I've got a basket here with an apron that I tend to wear in the garden and a screwdriver for I don't know bits and pieces and this metal chair is the same as one outside but this one's sprayed um, grey and then at the back there I've got like a soil silver in plastic then coming along here I've got uh, clematis which is a bit dry actually but it is going outside because I'm going to be building a pergola um, with me and my husband so um, that's meant to go to run up the pergola so uh, that will be a separate video um, I've also got um, these lights all kind of dotted everywhere and so it lights up at night and it's really lovely and as I said to you I have to do some um, pruning here that's another little pot this container I got should take those off I bought from the car boot and it's a metal container and I just sort of keep like little accessories and stuff in there and it's really nice let's see if I can get that out of the way and um, I just like the fact that it already looks rusty and um, kind of antique -y looking as well I've got this galvanized tray with um, 
plot um, pots on and I didn't intend because I've doing a cutting garden for my flowers to grow any fruits or vegetables in here but it kind of happened and they're here now and um, some more geraniums and down here is some lavender so I had this um, a little old table painted it um, in some garden paint and then I've got this little tray down here as well in galvanized so you can um, get in the theme that I do like galvanized um, containers and I also like terra Potter cotter containers tend to like wood metal and clay so I tend to go down that room not really keen on plasticky things at all um, then uh, this is one of my many watering cans and I often keep this filled with water which I've got from the water but from somewhere else in the garden and um, just to keep the humidity levels not too dry in here because um, I kind of been learning about that got an aubergine plant here and it's actually got aubergines on and I can't believe it I'm growing aubergines but um yeah so I'm so excited so you know just you can tell I'm new at this so, and um, I've got another clematis here and then going round that's the water but outside I found this at a car boot sale and it had these drawers missing and I wanted something to keep the seeds in and I just thought oh you know what even though it's missing it kind of adds to the fact that it's sort of old so in here I've got like some um, some seeds and um, yeah these drawers are all sort of like for seeds and everything and I really really love it so it kind of has pride of pace on the left hand side and this is like an old wooden crate and in there I've got some um, pots um, the trays to put the pots on and a little additional soil and a kind of a little shovel down here so it's quite tightly packed in here and I did originally buy so there's one at the back here let's just see if we can see it here um, to put the seeds in but I prefer this big one but I left it here anyway so um, another clematis and here's some more pots that's an old um, tin that I painted in a kind of a purpley colour and some more galvanised pots and then these tomatoes cherry tomatoes it, um, on the bush are just looking so cute and there's some more up there and um, yeah I'm just kind of learning about growing that so this is a little potting bench that you can see in front and it was a just an ordinary wood color and again I painted it um, I think I'm trying to remember the name of the paints I think I've still got it here oh here it is it's by Ron Seal. and what's the color what's the color Audrey sapling green yeah so it's a nice it's a nice green so that's what I painted it with and um, yeah it's doing really well so it's got like a metal bench so it's like a potting bench it's got a shelf at the back and then it's got a shelf underneath and in here I've got like some tools um, just other little bits and pieces some bits to go with the hose and then this little gadget is um the temperature reader so as you can see it's 23 at the moment and at the moment the humidity is 64 so that kind of lives there and there's another little canister that has seeds in and this is a lovely little galvanized pot that at the moment i keep meshing and then underneath i've still got like little pots there for when i'm doing seedlings and then that's a lovely box there and if i bring you up here I found this it's like a work tool tray that I found at the car boot and in there I've got some terracotta pots and these look like what you call like cider bottles or something that one says bits and bobs and there's another light and then I found that at the car boot sale as well so I know the, car, the greenhouse is meant to be for practicalities but I do like a few styling bits as well so that kind of vintage feel so we've got there's the crate and then some little plastic pots and then we'll go down and I started growing cucumbers I didn't really mean to and they've kind of taken over a bit but I'll come back to that in a minute so over here these are kind of bits that I've been using while working in the greenhouse and this container here I don't know if you can see is a 
Singer sewing machine, the cover that goes over an old Singer sewing machine. So I turned it on the side and then just kind of housed things in it. And here's some kind of pots that I've got for any new bits coming up. And then this is like a folding um, kneel bench as well, which is really handy. Up here is another shelf. And um, I found this in the car boot. It's probably a bit too close to the glass. So I need to work on that because when it's really hot in here, I'm sure it's burning it. Some more other pots on the shelves. And then I've got these peppers, which are doing really well. And cucumbers. They're more like gherkins, actually. They kind of look, yeah, like them stubby cucumbers. I hope you can, yeah, see that there. Then. Yeah. So I didn't intend to kind of grow cucumbers and things but uh oh, i don't know they just kind of took over so i'm waiting for them to finish and then i'm going to set up with seed trays to um go all along here so this is what they call the siding that's something else that i learned new so if i stand oh sorry it's a little bit awkward if i stand back here you can see that's the siding there and that's basically a table that you're supposed to do all your seedlings on but I'm slightly covered with cucumbers and peppers at the moment and um, I've got like another pepper plant here now under the siding which to be honest it's not very practical not to have to have like wooden boxes because when I water the stuff the water comes draining down but it is what it is for now and I've got sort of um, like sprays and things like food um, like sea liquid seaweed I heard that was really organic liquid seaweed. I heard that was um, a really good for stuff. So yeah, stuff like that. And that's another lid at the bottom. I've got some garden gloves, which don't need to be there. They're supposed to be over here. Yeah, let's go back to here. And I've got another little box down here. And this stool here is handy because I'm not very tall, so it's quite handy for me to reach for anything. And then that plastic pot, I don't like, I'm not quite sure how it arrived in here, but um, yes, that will be leaving. And I've got some more cucumbers, so I need to find a way of stringing them around so that they sort of hang a bit better. Um, um, here's some more of the um, light solar lights. And I do have some of the solar lights like hanging up. So it does look really pretty at night when all the lights come on at night. So, so far, that's what I have for the greenhouse. I think I've kind of covered everything. And I um, also will be doing a cutting garden, developing it even more. I've just started a little bit. It's over there on the right. But I'll do another video about that. So I'm doing raised beds and stuff like that. So hopefully you will be able to get a little tour of that as well. Oh, also has the window open for when it's a bit too warm. But yeah, so that is my greenhouse tour. So I hope you enjoyed the tour of my little greenhouse and coming up very soon will be a tour of my cut flower garden which I'm developing. If this is the sort of video that you enjoy please give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel. All you have to do is click the button down below and click on the notification bell because that will allow you to know when I've got new videos coming up. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.